I want to do something, I'm going to do it. I'm a grown-ass woman, okay? Um, I do not do drugs. I don't even smoke cigarettes. This is what I do. I smoke this vape that has 2.0 um, nicotine in it. I have, like, the least amount of nicotine in this vape. So for people to come on here and talk about I'm doing drugs because I come on here and my eyes are puffy and I have no makeup on and I don't and I'm I'm still sad in my sadness and I'm getting over it. You know, doing that live yesterday, even though it might not seem to y'all, like doing that live yesterday really made me feel better. Like I got to talk and I got to like vent. I mean, I have people to talk to, don't get me wrong, but a lot of the times I don't want to talk to people when I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. It's weird. I just don't want to talk to people. I want to just be by myself. And of course, I have my baby and I'm with the baby, but I want to be by myself when I'm feeling a certain type of way. But coming on here and just like venting and just like doing my makeup and just doing girly stuff and talking to y'all, it does make me feel better. So that's what I did yesterday. That's what I did. You know, I wasn't on drugs. I wasn't coming down from this high. I wasn't binging the last three days. Like, bitch, grow up. Like, grow the fuck up. Like, what's wrong with you people? For real, for real. And I'm talking to the people who make up these fucking lies. Like, are y'all that bored? Y'all that messy? Because like I said yesterday, most of, shit that I, most of the shit that I could say, I'm not gonna say. But like, literally, I could destroy these people with two words. You feel me? Literally. Literally, some of y'all. So it's like, but I'm not going to even go there because I don't need to go there. I don't need to. I don't, I don't need to. Um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, talking about I'm on drugs. Like, come on. Like, you guys... You guys are just really sad. It's really, really sad. And it's really, really desperate. It's giving no content. It's giving... It's still giving obsessed with Liv. Um, as much as times as you want to say I'm doing down, I'm down bad, bitch, you're still obsessed with a down bad bitch, okay? I just don't get it. I don't get it, y'all. Maybe y'all can help me understand this. I don't understand. Like, it's like they're trying to, they think I'm down, so they're trying to kick me while I'm down. Bitch, I'm not down. I'll never be down. I might have some days, I have harder days than other days, but I'm still not down. Yeah, I even said I was, yeah, because I come on here and I'm transparent with y'all. I keep it real with y'all. If I feel a certain type of way, I'm going to let y'all know. I always have. Yeah. And even on my worst day, I still look better than most of my haters. Even on my worst day. So don't get me started. Don't get me started. Okay. <laughs> Yes, they were. The accusations were simply fabricated and unca uncalled for. And that's what I'm saying. Anybody who posted a video about me doing drugs as a matter of fact, keep those videos up. Keep them up. Please keep them up. Please keep them up. Because you know what you're talking about, right? Okay, we're going to find out. So keep them up. That's called defamation of character. That's what you're doing. So keep those videos up, sweetheart. Keep them up. Um, all right. So there's that, right? My haters be my motivators. Girl, everything motivates me. Everything, including my haters, yes. It does. I just don't understand because it's like how much more can a person take? You guys say I was doing really bad. Say I was high on drugs and all this extra bullshit that they're trying to say. Like, do you understand what you're doing? What you're further trying to do? You're further trying to push a woman over the edge, bro. That shit is sick. That shit is so sick, bro. <laughs> I never seen something so sick. And then it's like they get in their groups and they just foam at the mouth talking about live. And it's gross and it's creepy. And yes, defamation is, honey, trust me, I'm two steps ahead of you. Don't you understand that most of you shit talkers were doxxed at one point? Yeah, okay, that part. Okay, don't worry. It's going to be okay. We're going to get it together. And don't let, stop letting them people in your comments hype you up. 
to get yourself in bullshit. But it's okay. Keep doing you. Keep doing it. Like I said. Everybody has their day, right? Yeah, I heard some shit last night. I heard some shit last night. Every single thing the person was talking about me was a lie. Every single thing. <laughs> Every single thing. That's why I sat there. And yeah, I'm nosy. I check out whatever the hell I want to check out. It's me. You talk about me? I'm not allowed to see. I can see. I can look at whatever the hell I want to look at. You stay. You stay watching me. Fucking creeps. So yeah, I could look what what I want to look at. I mean, as that you're talking about me. So uh, yeah, if I want to look at it, I'm gonna look at it. Period. Don't feel special. You're not special. I'm special. That's why you're talking about me. Understand that, okay? So um, and you guys, all my subscribers and all my loyalty gang, I'm sorry that y'all have to like get in the middle of this and you guys have to hear me rant about this. But I don't like people lying on me. It's not cool. It's not cool, especially with everything I'm going through. Why are you further lying about me? And that's what we're not doing. Sorry. Sorry. She has my name too. Olivia? Yeah. We're not shouting these losers out. They are. That person is very obsessed. Very, very much obsessed. But we're not going to shout them out. That's what we're not doing. So, this person was talking about me. Everything they were saying was a lie. Everything. 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 And I'm like, okay. So I got I got off of that shit. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, okay. So what these people are saying about me is completely fabricated. They can't say anything real other than I don't have my kids. Got it. You said it like a million thousand times. You feel good now, sis? Okay, cool. Um, but other than that, you're not saying anything else that's actual truth. So it just gives very much a hater. It gives very much misery. It's giving very much obsessed. It's giving very much, I hate Liv. I just want to talk about Liv. Oh my God, I need some views. So it's cool. You know what I mean? Like I said, do your thing. Um, but yeah, you should watch what you say. And you should watch who hypes you up to say the wrong things. Definitely. Um... But yeah, guys, it's just a it's just a lot, you know. The people that are in here, y'all have to understand. Like I'm going through a lot, and people just want to keep pushing my buttons, pushing my buttons. Pu I don't know. I don't know if they're just trying to see like how far they can like take it. If they can like see me like jump off the bridge, or I don't know what they're trying to do. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't understand it. Oh, honey, I already know it's dry without me. I already know. I already know, honey. Trust me, I already know. I, I'm very, I know, I know who I am. Like, I know who I am. I know my worth. I know what I bring to the table. I'm very entertaining. I'm very much fun to watch. I mean, I have fun... I, I know because my energy is coming out like I can feel my energy pouring into this live so I know what you guys are feeling you guys are feeling all this good energy even though we're talking about stupid shit it's still it's still we're having fun like it's still fun doing this so yeah I know it's it's gonna be hella dry if I ever get off this bitch are you kidding me I didn't post for a couple days and they're going back in the archives trying to pull out old videos like bitch you're talking about what happened a year ago bitch boo you need you need a view, don't you? Don't don't you? Yeah, okay. That part. Um but yeah, like I said, I have grown so much and I'm at a really good place in my life. I mean, unfortunately, I'm dealing with certain things because I was connected to certain people. You feel me? And it's fine. Everything will resolve itself. I have a lot of faith. I know who I am. I know that I'm not out here being reckless. I'm not out here doing drugs. I'm not partying. What are you like? What are you guys even talking about at this point? Like, I'm not that person. I've never been that person. I've always been a good mother. I've always had my kids. I've always taken care of my kids. I've never been. You know, I had a little rocky point at some point, as we all do, 
when we're going through traumatic life changes. And yes, I went through traumatic life changes and things got rocky there for a bit. But I'm definitely over that and I've grown past that. So, you know, another thing that I really is really annoying to me is, you guys, I don't know why it is so painful to watch a woman and I'm not saying for everybody because some people think it's very um, inspiring and motivating and and they look at me for advice and I appreciate it and I love y'all and I'm always here if you guys need somebody to talk to but I don't know why it bothers so many females excuse me my nails <laughs> they're so ugly I don't know if bothers so many people to see a woman outgrow a situation and get over somebody and be on her own and do her own thing like the way that people come at me like I'm not over my ex and I'm supposedly obsessed with him and I care and I'm this and I'm I'm just so heartbroken over him and <sighs> y'all let me say this, okay? I'm going to be respectful when I say this. Um, I already told you guys. Um, I walked away from a situation. Sorry. I walked away from a situation, and I'm very happy that I did to this day. Now, people always ask me all the time, well, if, if you were going through all this stuff and you were getting, you know, all the stuff that I said that I went through, if you were going through all of this, why didn't you leave? Why didn't you leave, Olivia? Why did you keep getting back with that person? Why did you keep this? Why did you keep that? Um, because I didn't want to go through this right here that I'm going through, all this bullshit that I'm going through with my kids. I already knew that it was going to result into me leaving that person was going to result in me going through all of this okay so that's fine and I've come to terms with that that this is what I have to go through I have to go through all of this I gotta deal with my kids being in the system now I gotta it's just a lot of shit that I didn't want to deal with because I don't do all that you understand okay um but yeah um but yeah uh, as far as like me being over him and me um or not being over him and me being like obsessed with all this extra blah 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 this and this and this and I'm just so hurt and I'm so dead baby I honestly I can say this with an open heart and an open mind I actually wish I still to this day wish him the best in all of his future endeavors I don't have no ill will feelings towards him and I I'm very much over the whole situation very very much I know that hurts a lot of women out there they're like well how how can she be over it how can she be over it she's not over it I'm over it I've been over it yeah it feels really good it feels it feels amazing ever since I've been not with that person I've been really happy I made a little, I made a little and decisions on the way here but you know I it's okay <laughs> them people work <laughs> cut okay but I'm just saying like I'm in a good place and I don't care about anything he does or anything he's I hope I, I wish him the best okay um but it's just this weird infatuation with live is so broken live is so hurt no live 